I, I'm going to sound like a big baby, but I'm just going to say this. Um, I am watching, and sometimes I watch it out of order because I'm like, oh my God, I need to see that episode. Then I, I'm, I'm slowly um, making sure I, I, you know, I, I see every episode of Better Call Saul. But I... I struggle. I'm like, it's like my family's having Thanksgiving dinner and I'm not there. Yeah, that's not fair. That's not I good. still feel, and, it, and certainly everybody from Breaking Bad isn't on it, but it's our world. And I know they're working with Vince and, and Peter and it, it's uh, Peter Gould who, you know, co-created the show with Vince. And it's just, it's so, uh, it's hard. Sometimes you just click with people and sometimes you don't. Totally. That's how humans are, I think. Yeah. It's not always explainable. Can we talk yeah. about Better Call Saul for a second since you sure. watch it? Sure. So um, I watch it too and it's such a good show. And mm -hmm. I see what you mean where like you're watching like, hey, this is my world. Like, why am I not in it? Like, I'd love to be stepping yeah. in that like, right now. Like, it thrills me. And, and the new people, I, you know, to the world, even yeah. though it's you know, a prequel. So they're not really new, but they're new to us. Um, so fantastic, you know, like Ray Seahorn, Mando, like they're just so, you know, but it thrills me to see Jonathan Banks, who's mm -hmm. one of my favorite people in the world and um, Bob Odenkirk in these scenes on screen together. Like it just satisfies, satisfies me as an actor, as a fan of Breaking Bad, as a fan of the new show. Um, you know, and Michael McKean was fantastic. Yes. You know, not yes. to spoil anything. Sorry, but um, well, I know. But now we're going a little way back. Fabian, like you know, it just like I feel like right out of the gate, they just did it. I'm like, that's how you do a sequel slash prequel. Like that's how you do. Totally. A that's how you. That's do how you do it. So I've had Michael McKean on the show, and Patrick oh God, Fabian, and oh Ray Seahorn. So oh. Like, <laughs> We're all I love about it. Better you Call get Saul. all the best people. Yeah. And Patrick, I've interviewed like 50 million times for this, that, and the other thing. But yeah, I had all the best people on. I mean, not all of them because there's still others who I haven't talked to yet who I would love to. Yeah. But um, so a lot of people who, who watch my show are big Better Call Saul fans as well. Oh, I love that. I love that. So they're going to be I mean, very it's excited. It's just good television. Like I know. you, I, re I had a moment. I can't remember what season it was. I didn't watch the, maybe it was season two. I hadn't watched the finale yet. And I had an interview and I was like, don't ask me, don't tell me because it's, I couldn't watch it last night because I had some event at my kid's school or something. And I, and I was like, I can't, or, or like it's something, I had some event and I couldn't watch it and I haven't watched it yet. And now I'm that annoying person <laughs> that is like, no spoiler, don't no spoiler, right. no spoiler, don't talk about it. And what do you do after you see something like that is you want to watch it. Like you want to talk about it, yes. right after you watch it. And so, um, yeah, I was like, I'm that fan now. I'm that fan. Okay, so ready? I heard a fan theory the other day. I was speaking to somebody and he was like, he, you know, he and I shared a lot of similar shows that we love and we're talking about Better Call Saul. He's like, all right, I have a theory. So do you want to hear it? I know there are a million yeah. fan theories out there and I don't usually listen to them or like hear what they are, but I know that there are a million going. But just because we were talking one-to-one, -one, I listened to his theory. It was very interesting. So Kim Wexler has... Okay, she's very prominent, right? She's become yes. more and, and more prominent. And I think there's even more, like there, there's going to be more coming out of the character we are just not going to see coming. That's my prediction. And I don't know anything. I haven't asked anybody. Right. I want to know. I don't, that's my, that's my prediction. And I don't think anybody knows. I don't even think Ray knows. I know that Patrick and Ray both told me that they're always like turning the page wondering, am I killed off, you know, tomorrow? Yes. Is this the episode where I never get to come back? So like, yeah. I don't really even think anybody knows anything. So this is all speculation. But he had an interesting thing where he said, what if Kim, because nobody sees her in Breaking Bad, right? That's one of the big mysteries. Like, where right. is Kim Wexler in Breaking Bad? What if Kim is sort of like the biggest character in Breaking Bad who you oh. never see? So for example... What if she's above Gus Spring and pulling all the strings or something? She's Ooh. like the one, which is interesting. Who knows? But I, I was like, oh, that actually could make sense. I see where you're going with that. What do you think? Yeah, I like that. I like that we went there. I kind of, I don't know, I want to see the episode where it just everything implodes and, and Can't wait. you know, then we see what happened with, with Kim and 
Saul and right. why, why we don't see her in Breaking Bad. I mean, I, I remember Vince saying, you know, he, he, and I know a lot of writers do this, but, you know, he, he'd say, you know, he likes, he, sometimes he'll paint himself into a corner and then he has to write his way out of it. And it just makes you, you know, I, I think it, it just exponentially ups your creative yes. game and how you're going to solve that problem. Um, and I, so I, I can't wait to see what they, because they, they leave no, you know, they, they, they don't, there, there are no loose strings there. There's nothing. Right. They there, tie it all together they, somehow. They, they don't forget. Tie up, they do not forget. They do mm -hmm. not forget. So, um, and I don't know, they may have a plan. That plan may change. Like they also are really great at letting the show, like, like going where the show takes them. Which yeah. is one of the reasons I also really just like, I feel like you kind of see that when you watch it. Yeah. You know? And it definitely has changed over the seasons yeah. too. So and what do you think about how they ended, how Vince and Peter ended Breaking Bad? Like, did you feel like good or like, so what? I mean, I, as someone who was in the show, I felt like I, I wanted all the characters we loved to win, even though I knew that probably wasn't going to happen and, and yeah. it wouldn't be the right ending for that show. I, I felt I, I, after I read the final script, I, I sent Vince a message and I said, it's the perfect ending for this show. It's the perfect ending for this show. In some really great shows, you don't always get that. I used to beg um, the writers in, in, the, in the writer's room on Breaking Bad and, and I love them all. Like they're all, they're so talented. And honestly, I used to tell Vince if I was single, I would want him to choose who I date just because, you know, the, the people that he put in the room with him are also just some of my favorite people. Like they're also fantastic uh -huh. humans and just really like, it's a really lovely group. Um, but I used to say, write the finale for Breaking Bad, the six feet under finale. Were you a fan of that show? Okay, oh my God. I, that is the Why best is ever. Gonna, we don't have to shoot it. Just tell me what's going to happen to everybody. I just want to know. I want to know. And just like as a viewer, you just feel so satiated. And it's fantastic. I said, I just want to know. We don't, we don't have to, you don't even have to put it in script form. Just tell me. Just tell me what happens to everybody. But I, to, to the I same, love that. One of the most beautiful finales okay. of the show ever. Yes. A show that was especially so dark. Like I love what they did. I, I loved it. I loved it. Same. It was so beautifully done. By so the way, that's the one. Done. I have two finales I always mention as the most satisfying and beautifully done finales ever. That's one of them, Six Feet Under. And The Americans is another. Did you okay, watch it? I started watching that show and I didn't make it all into it because now I'm, I'm like binge watching Atypical. If I wake up in the middle of the night, oh, I'm watching I love Atypical. Atypical. Love it. I don't know how I wasn't watching that show before. Um, did you watch The Good Place? I did, well, okay, I saw like maybe part of one episode and then I, I just, it just didn't, I, I didn't connect. I loved it, but that was the show that my family and I would like, every night we'd watch an episode of The Good Place. Sometimes okay. we'd like, oh, let's do another one. And we binged the whole thing. And um, that finale just was so beautiful. I cried, I wept, I wept for the finale of this comedy and it oh. was so perfectly done. Perfect. Okay, I might give it a try again then, because I know I have heard such good things about it. About I'm going to try that one again. But, the, but let's go back to the six feet under one for a second. Oh because yeah, because really, and even the music. I mean, everything about it. The, right, the way they show. shot it, the lighting. It was just so satisfying. And with Claire, yeah. like driving like that. Oh, oh! I just got chills. I just got no. chills. I Me just too. seriously chills. Yeah, I know. I'm t it's so, and it was years ago. I haven't seen it yeah. in years and years and still, right? It just stays with you. There's something about the way that they did that. And Breaking Bad was great too. I was very happy with the finale. It was a that, perfect finale for that show. Like yeah. he stayed so true to the show and, and, I, and everybody was where they should be at the end. Everybody was where, where they should be at the end. So I felt... I just felt like it was the perfect ending. I really yeah. did. I really did. Tell me about, um, so uh, the good place when you said that, it made me think of Schitt's Creek. That's how I, uh, that's the kind of show that w when you talk about how, oh, let's just have one more, watch one more. Did you watch yeah. Schitt's Creek? That's um, I, about that. no, I haven't. 
Um, I watched like a, an episode or two. Like, I don't, I, I feel like that may be like good for me and my husband, but I don't know if my, yeah. my 11 year old can get behind okay. that. Need, first of all, American you need American Vandal with them, with my kids. Oh. Okay, Which American is really Vandal, sardonic, and it's it's like a like a, a mockumentary of like a crime show, and it's really well done, really funny. Was that the it's one funny. with the the painting on a car or something? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So Shit's Creek, you need to give it four episodes, and then you'll fall in love with it. Your teen, your your daughter will probably enjoy it too. Like everybody in my okay. family oh, likes good. it. Good. Okay, because I need a new one for. So, or, but you have or, to get through those first few episodes because they're just like, you're like, what are these? Who are these people? And then yeah. suddenly you get them and you get what's going on and they are like lovable and they have so many flaws, but there's love beneath all of it. And it's funny and it's so easy to just very yeah. digestible. Oh, like, good. Okay. Oh, now you're getting me excited. And I can tell okay, you. Good. I think you'll like it. I think you, okay. know, you can watch it with your husband and then see if, and the kids can join it anytime. They don't have to watch from the first episode, you know, so you right. can gauge it yourself. My daughter will probably love it. And I love, I love having shows to to watch with her you know my son is like all dude he's like let's like he like watching like those things where people test theories and they like crash stuff and that like he thinks oh, that's okay good. um but he loved love love the good place and he's a so i feel like life and pieces would actually be that kind of show that your family yeah. would like right yeah. did they watch that when you were in it um they did you know it's so like when i did the michael j fox show my son was so little i he really didn't he they didn't he didn't watch it like I didn't want him to see me like not like there's like steamy sex scenes in that show it's you know network television but um I didn't want him to see me like in bed with another man yeah. and you know because they're like well that'll be confusing to him um but yeah we would watch uh they would watch life in pieces a lot um and they're also uh, really good friends with um, uh, Giselle, who plays my youngest daughter on that show, like my kids are still very tight with her. Yeah. Um, and I'm tight. That's with so her. cute. Yeah, it's, it's adorable. Very, actually, like, how does yeah, that happen? I, I I take that um the TV mothering very seriously. <laughs> I, I, it's a thing. Um, but I I love that my kids care about what I do, but not really. Like they really they do, but they really don't. Like they they care, but they're um. Yeah, they really, my son was a good really, balance. Yeah, my son was really enamored with Sting when I worked with Sting. Oh, wait, when, when did he, you work with Sting? He guest starred on the Michael J. Fox show. Oh. And, um, and my son was like, I'm like, who isn't enamored with Sting? I could barely speak in our first take together. I was like, I'm so sorry. Um, but in, in Sting was just kind of lovely, so lovely with my kid. Like he just focused on him and just, cause like he's that guy and he gets it, you know? Sweet. And my son was just mesmerized with him. Like just mesmerized yeah. with him. It was awesome. It is so interesting. Cause you have met so many, I mean, you've really been not, you've been in so many good shows with so many good actors, but you've met a lot of people along the yeah. way too. Like, so were you, you were starstruck? Some of those are drive by meetings. Oh yeah. Like superstar struck with, um, Glenn Close, oh. Sally Field, but Sally Field was like, oh my God. But she just like, do you know what she does? Like, she just makes you feel like you're just friends and you've known each other forever. And I'm like, you're Sally Field. <laughs> like, Love. She was lovely. Like. And I just like, some, I just couldn't, I was like, oh my God, such a fan. And she was like, oh my God, I'm a fan. And like, she like, introduced, she was really lovely, really lovely. And she's That's so a cool. And she is yeah. so, she's Sally Field. Like, so oh, like, like so Gidget. Downward. We're going back to Gidget. Yeah. What's, oh my God. Did you Flying watch that? Nun. I used to watch Flying Nun reruns when I was a kid. I like loved it. Yeah. yeah. I watched Gidget reruns when I was a kid. I was like way before my time, but I remember thinking like, this is the greatest show and I love her from the beginning. So amazing. And then the cool thing is since you were on Breaking Bad, like everybody knows you. So even these people like Sally Field. I forget or that. Right? I forget that because it's not how I do life. Like I just kind of go about it as if like, that's my job and nobody knows who I am, which usually works for the best, not always, but usually works right. for the best. But we're talking about six feet under. I remember when I, I saw um, Alan Ball at something and then he told me he was a big fan of mine. And I just about like, 
Like there's some people like that where you're like, it's too much. I can't take it. I can't, I can't take it. It's too much. Actually this, this with Sting, cause I've been a fan of his forever. Um, he did a song on the show and it was the Christmas episode. And he um, had, you know, like two of his musicians that he's played with for years, you know, these really amazing musicians and lovely guys. And they played the song and we're, you know, as actors, our characters are watching him play the song. And so, and Mike and I are there and we have this really nice moment and we um, hold hands and smile at each other and we're doing this take. And I, 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 I was like, Oh my God. And Mike said, what's the matter? I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to cry and then mess up my makeup. And he's like, why are you crying? I'm like, because it's just too much. It's just too much. I'm here with you. Like I'm playing. Like that you. alone. Hello. Oh my God. Come on. I grew up watching family ties. Like yeah. I'm here with you. Like, and, and he's so, so talented so he's one of the smartest people I've ever met and, and kindest, like he's ugh, so funny, so funny. And I'm like, I'm here with you playing opposite you. We're doing the show. We're basically getting a private concert from staying. I'm like, it's just too much. It's just like too much. living in oh, New York. I've always wanted to live in, like we lived my family and I were living in New York in Manhattan at the time. And it was just, you know, like my cup just ran way over. Just like, way over it was like way over right. so I could see and you like you totally get it you see it and you would like recognize I cannot even believe which is so yeah. good because you could have just been like jaded and like it doesn't even affect you, and you oh god even, no, like no. oh whatever it's so normal from a, a like a smallish town in the midwest that's just not not right. my style it's it's not my style yeah well, let me just tell you, this has been so much fun. I know I we're could running talk out to of you time. All day. So could I. I could leave, oh yeah, I guess it's all. <laughs> I just don't. I could easily, but I feel like I need to keep you on track because I feel like I, I know that your day is busy, and I'm I'm lucky enough no, to have you I for do, the hour. We have because I want and I so want to get out and talk about the show. I'm so excited for the show. Um, I mean, you know, we're all home and like looking for new yes. things to watch. We're talking about that. This, I think, this anthology and these. Brett Goldstein and Will Bridges, they created it and, you know, are really at the helm of this and so good. They're so talented and so good. And it is, I'm so excited to watch the other episodes, you know, and it's, it, it's, it's, I was so excited to do this project and it far, you know, just exceeded my expectations and I can't wait for the world to see it, you know, yes. especially right now, a lot of the themes I, are things that we're talking about, like, while you're at home that you think about your life and your place in the world and your place in your family and work and you know who are you all of these things and it's it's just there could not be a more perfect show for this moment it just totally worked out that way it did and right it that was another that way. it was like serendipity the yeah. also the people who watch and listen to my show this is the kind of thing they're going to be into. And they're going to be excited to see you. It's all good. Oh, um, I can't wait. I can't wait. And I can't wait. I know we'll meet in person someday. We will and definitely. We'll talk, we'll talk for twice as long and have a glass of wine. <laughs> Listen, as soon as when things are normal and either you're in New York or I, and I fly to LA a few times a year, I was supposed to in March. I canceled it because of, yeah. you know. It was supposed um, to be in New York in March. And we, you know, ended up canceling that. I just, I was like, I'm not but we're not going to do press in New York oh. right now. Right. That was a smart move. So we're going to do well, it. Um, you are invited back on the show for sure. sure. By the way, you're very good at looking into the camera. I have to tell you, because most oh. interviews that I do, people are not looking right into the camera. And I'm used to not even looking right in when we're having a talk. Yeah. But I think yeah. it's quite a skill that you are really like the only person who's pulled it off. Well, I bet, you know, cause now I've been doing some stuff via zoom, so I've gotten better at it where You're good like, at it. it's, it's a, you know, it's a thing. It, it did. It took me a minute though. I'm not going to lie to you. It took me a minute. Like I'd rather look at a person, but this is what we have. So. Well, it's interesting. Yeah. Cause I would like to me, I'm like, well, I feel like I need to be seeing you because I'm very like I'm connecting, but I yeah. feel like it didn't hurt our connection at all when you oh were looking God, at no. the camera. So maybe I should try that too. I might try it too, because I don't do that. I look at you. I might I know. try looking we'll at look the camera. We're looking at it right now. I know we'll, I'm looking at it now, but I feel like I can't see you. So like my instinct is I want to look at you, but do you mm. feel like I'm looking more at you now? Yeah. You do. do. So maybe I should be doing that. I'm going to try I it do. on my next interview to look at the try camera it. instead of you. 
Okay, I'm gonna pull a, best, a Betsy Brandt. <laughs> Try it. What? I hope you don't. Don't you be like never doing that again. Never doing that again. <laughs> oh, is that my? That's um, my dog's tail. Sorry. I was um, just gonna say. I see you. <laughs> Thank you. Are you. Oh so God, you coming are so coming back. I, you are so fantastic. I just want to see you in person. And thank you for having me. This was Same. so great. I seriously could talk. I could go for another hour with you. Well, let's do it sometime. We'll figure it out. You are, we, I would love to have you back. And in person would be amazing, but maybe we'll oh, do I a video. So. Yeah, we'll do whatever we can get. Um, yeah, yeah. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Find the grace notes. Thank you, Rob Morrow. <laughs> find, the, <laughs> find the grace notes. And um, oh my God. And watch Shit's Creek. Watch Shit's Creek. I'm going to. I can't wait. Um, have a fantastic right. day. You too, Betsy. It was Take so care. nice Thank talking you to you. Thank you for having me. You too. Oh, you're Bye. just lovely. If you like this video, please make sure you smash that like button and tap on subscribe for more Real Talks with your favorite celebrities. If you didn't like it, that's okay. Make sure you tell all your friends to check out Really Famous with Tara Mayer Robinson. They're the worst videos ever. You've got to check them out. Thanks for watching. See you soon.